time to go. Make it a comeback. Be careful. Maya's walking backwards. Come this way. <laughs> to New York Fashion Week. I figured I'd start the vlog right here. Just saw the room tour. I'm sure you've seen it a million times. This is where we always stay. It's Conrad. It's an amazing hotel. Great service. Big rooms. We book with Amex so we always get a free upgrade. 10 out of 10. Highly recommend. Um, it's not like where all the action is but I like that because you know it's just peaceful coming in and out. The lobby's not jam-packed. We're close to shopping so I prefer that and we just make sure we leave early so we get everything on time. So uh, let me show you the airport outfit I have on this little bodysuit thingy, which I typically never wear these kind of things. Got this one from Zara, and it is so comfortable. So this is my new travel uniform. Um, my old Prada boots, because they'll go with things while I'm here, and they're comfy, and my YSL coat, because it is just so comfortable and warm. Um, it is 10. We left very early. We left at 7 a.m. That was our flight got here at eight and then it was an hour drive from the airport so we are going to we actually have to do a little bit of work before we um, get started with the event for today so we have to film a reel uh, which works out I'm very excited about it and I'll show a little behind the scenes but it's for like um I think they're kiss press on nails which you know I hate going to nail jail um so I thought this would be a good time to like try press on and see if I like it um and they want kind of like a fashion week inspired reel of me like getting ready so um we're gonna film that while I also get ready for the day and then we have a fitting at two but I'll just be dressed for the day for that um and then a presentation with Liage Liage um and they sent me something to wear um and then we have some parties tonight so that's the day. Um, starting to get ready and we're like halfway through filming the reel that we're doing. Um, so I'll show you some behind the scenes. I was gonna see if there was any makeup I needed to update you on. I think maybe towards the end, still using the same stuff. All I've done is my brow so far, but still using Bobbi Brown Face Base, Bobbi Brown Foundation, NARS Concealer. I think I showed you, oh, room service, hold on. I was saying, um, I do use this powder now by Hourglass. I think I shared this already, but I use this to set my concealer first. <laughs> and then I still use the Fenty powder um, after this, but I use this to set. It doesn't settle in fine lines, so I feel like it just works a little better. I'll update you once I get towards the end. <laughs> I'm in New York and I have an event to attend and we have to serve some looks. We cannot forget about our nails. I needed a quick touch up before an event. I wanted to try something fun. So I tried the Impress Premium Nails. They did not disappoint. Impress Nails allows you to get a high fashion design manicure in minutes. Their pure fit technology creates a super slim, comfortable and fashion forward look resulting in a natural finish. No glue, no dry time and no nail gel. Bye. So we just finished um, our campaign. We're running behind. Um, I had a gifting suite at two. It's like one. What time is it? We might make it. But I also have a fitting at three. Um, one fifty-two. So we're not gonna make it. It's it's free clothes, but I just I'm already late. Um, so we'll go to our fitting at three. It's for a brand called PH Five, um, which has really cool stuff, and we're going to their presentation um, in a few days. So this is what I have on. Just the coat mango choker that's the outfit we went to the fitting 
Leon's presentation and then we'll be back to change and hopefully we'll see like the Yusufs and Karen and everybody at the um Leage Leage event so um yeah I like my makeup I feel very rushed but I gotta look okay Headed to the Leonge event. Um, you saw me do the fitting. I'm really cute dress and very excited about it. Um, so let's head to the event. You all just saw my outfit. So yeah, and there's gonna be all the new looks there, so it's gonna be a good time. Let's go. Just got back from Leange and we have an hour. Oh, the lighting's terrible, sorry. We have an hour um, until we hit the three parties. Um, and all of these are just to build relationships. Um, I'm working with my Teresa now. They're having a cocktail party. Um, Plein Sport is having a cocktail party and they have a fashion show in Milan Fashion Week, so we want to just go and support. Um, and then the other one is. Uh, Victor and Roth flower bomb fragrance which is on uh, my brand list of people I'd like to work with so that's why we're going to all of those we did just get some loans so I figured I'd open those like an unboxing but these are just loans during fashion week for us to shoot and to wear one of them I already know I'm gonna wear tonight instead of the other outfit because the good thing is that when people loan you things you can save the outfits that you bought right so like the outfit I was gonna wear tonight I can save that from Milan for like a party and wear one of the loans so Let's open these, see what we got. Well, I picked all this stuff, so I know, but you can see. Okay, so basically the good thing about being in New York is they can like carrier, courier things to you. So like this just came in this bag and was dropped off. This is from LaPointe, which I've worked with them before. And I picked out this stunning dress to wear. Ah, has like these see-through mesh cutouts and the feathers and it's black, it's just, it's me. It's me in a dress. And it goes, for me, it's like a maxi. So all the way down to the floor, it's comfy. So I feel like this is perfect for tonight. I'll show you what I put it on, but. Oh, I opened this earlier. It was in that box. Um, this blazer. And this is actually a gift. It comes with some pants. Oh, stupid. Um, this is a brand that I've never heard of, but they reached out to send me a gift. And I was very excited because they have really cute stuff. The brand is called The C. S-E-I, I'll put it on the screen off the shoulder but really cute little mini dress and then this really cute blazer and it comes with um they sent trousers too like black trousers super cute so i'll probably wear this blazer one night too and then okay let's open this let me get some scissors i have to use my hair cutting scissors mm -hmm. this is from oh it doesn't say what's from and then I'm pretty much already ready, but I do want to um, update my makeup a little bit. Powder is still pretty good, but I'm going to do like a smoky eye. Oh, this is from Victor Hugo Mode. We all know I love Victor Hugo Mode. He's a black designer. Uh, we went to his show in September. We went to it last January. Um, ooh. Okay, I did, they did ask me if I wanted something, and I, 
I remember picking this. I love, you know, I'm trying to wear more color. I love this color combo. Oh, this would be cute for like a day. I might wear this like shopping or something. Ah, oh, how pretty is that color combination? It's just, um, he does like knitwear so beautifully, so comfortable, so chic. Oh, so cute. And I don't know what's in here. He did just come out with accessories. So maybe that's what's in here. I was right. The sunglasses. Oh, they match the dress. They do. Oh, I don't have anything like this. Oh, this. I'm gonna have to move the. Hold on. Let me get in some better lighting. So I could, oh my god, I love them. They're like clear, but like a little purple. -y. Oh. I love them. And for Milan, my theme is like lavender purples. Oh, this is perfect. Okay. So this we got from Victor Lamode. Very, very kind. So of course, anytime we loan something or are gifted something, we try to shoot it, share it on social media. And that's the whole point, right? That's how you build these relationships. That's 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 the whole point. So um so we just order food, we'll eat, and then I'll change clothes. Show you my outfit. Whew. Day one, it's almost, we're halfway through. All right, here is the look. I just added red to my eyes. I love this look. I did it a lot in Miami. Um, this little floral choker. The necklace pearl part is from Free People. This flower came on a dress from Magda Boutram. This is the little point dress. Ho hopefully I can pop it in a picture here that we took, but it just goes all the way down. This is the best lighting here. And then I'm taking um, this bag, which I absolutely love. I got it in Atlanta. It's by the brand Published by, you know, edge it up a bit. So this is, that's how I'm gonna hold it. Okay. We're back. I don't know why the TV's on Spanish. <laughs> um, we went to, I just did my skincare. Everything will be linked below that I use. Um, I have like a slightly updated routine, but especially when I wear makeup now, I double cleanse. Um, there is a um, oil cleanser that I use now for my brown, I really like. Um, and there's also um, an acne treatment that I use now. Um, cause I was having a few breakouts. You can probably see over here. But anywho, I'll link that below if you're interested. Um, so a little recap. Obviously there's no way to recap any shows. There's no recap of any shows since we didn't have any today. Um, the Leon, I feel like I never said that right. Presentation. Um, it's always really beautiful. It's always fun. That's a, like a very classic um, New York brand. They do a lot of like silk and a lot of like blazers, tailored pieces, suits, um, and just denim, like just very classic staples. Um, but they always add like a little razzle dazzle and sparkles of the collection they showed today. Um, you would have just seen it, um, or you saw it earlier. Um, was again, very classic cuts, but like really interesting and unique, um, little special details. So, Really enjoy it and I always see all the girls there so it was just it's always a good time because everybody goes to their event um, and then the fitting we had with ph5 very excited about their um, it's a very new brand and I already followed them on Instagram um, so I picked a dress and then their presentation is Saturday I believe and then what else did we do came back and changed um we could not get into the Pline sport party which you know we went to the um philip Pline fashion show in milan and hopefully we'll go again this time um but they were at maximum capacity by the time we got there so we just went on to the my Teresa party um which um was very cute it's, those are that's another event that's always um really nice and saw lots of people there saw monroe you would have saw her on the vlog 
um, the use of Karen, the use. Um, so that was fun. We took a lot of pictures. Me and Josh went outside of that party um, for like probably like 30 minutes and shot my outfit, which was La Pointe, um, which is alone. So I wanted to make sure we got that shot so we could post about it. And then we went to the last party of the night, which was um, Victor and Rolf Flower Bomb, which I was really excited for. But they had a very long line and it wasn't moving by the time I got there. My feet was hurting. I have something at nine tomorrow. So I was just like, I'm calling a night. So that's what we did. We just um, got here and I got ready for bed. I'm sure someone's going to ask. I just got new pajamas for Macy's. I think those blow as well. Um, I, they always have really cute sets. I never know the brand, but I'll link it. And I got like some, like a top and shorts pair. Those are my favorite. I bought every color they had. Very cute. Um, so that is, that was today. Tomorrow, Maya will get here. Um, so she'll help me vlog. It'll be a little easier just to get like, you know, more of the candid behind the scenes kind of stuff when I forget. Um, oh my God, tomorrow. Very exciting why we have to get up so early we are going to um we are going to see andre leon tally's items that are going to be auctioned at christie's um it is a breakfast and then like a private viewing of his things with the black and fashion council which i went to the black and fashion council dinner last fashion week um and I was just felt so grateful to be there they had it again and I was invited this time but it's always like two days before fashion week starts and I just could not come any earlier I had too much work to do um it was like Tuesday and I just couldn't make it so I'm I'm very glad that they invited me to this and I'm so excited I read Andre Leon Talley's book and I just feel like this is like a part of history so I'm very excited it's at 9 a.m though so very early but I'm excited. I'm excited about my outfit and I'm excited to see all, all of his pieces. And again, it's just like art and history. And then we have Kate Spade, which is, again, is always a good time. Lots of people will be there. Um, and I have a really cute Kate Spade purse. You are going to die. It is so cute that they loved me. Um, and then, oh, and then we have the Kensington and Gray Brunch, my agency. So it'll be a fun day tomorrow. And I'll see you then going to bed. Good night. This is the finished look. Sorry for my manly morning voice. Um, I did a little uh, orangey red on my eyes. I'm just really into that. Thought it'd be a nice contrast with the green. Um, obsessed with this dress. It's by Parenza Schuler. Um, and I got it from Shot McMullen, which is a black luxury um, boutique. It, I just love it. I'll pop in a real or full thing because again, it's a it's a mess. Oh, you can kind of see over here. Cool. There we go. Look at the shape. Amazing. It's a dress, but it kind of looks like pants. I have all my Marc Jacobs um, boots and then this J.W. Anderson bag uh, because Josh isn't coming with me to this event so I need to carry the vlog camera and all that. But the Kate Spade event, I'm going to change it to the, the cutest Kate Spade bag. So this is the outfit. Let's go. Luckily it's down the street but I'm still taking over. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> I've arrived. It's loud. But I'm here. I'm excited. Hi, everyone. Sorry, I'm going to try to speak loud. Um, thank you all so much. Good morning. Um, it is so wonderful to see all your beautiful faces. Thank you so much for coming out here early. I'm sorry, it has to be early because we have a lot of shows. <laughs> um, but um, we were here last night for the official opening reception, um, and we wanted to just have a breakfast to say thank you to all of you um, and welcome you to this really amazing, um, super emotional exhibit. Um, thank you to Christy's team, my co-founder, Sandrine. Um, we're just super excited to have you all here. Um, 
everything that I've seen in a part of this um, exhibit has just brought me to tears. Hi, I'm Dee Miller. I work with Christie's. It's a pleasure to have you all here today. Welcome. I hope if some of the preview, it's the first time you're here, I hope you come back. Please like, keep coming back. We want you here. Um, so for this morning, the gallery is closed until 10 a.m., so the entire space is yours. I love this. I think I'm in I can access this where I live. Oh. Just left the Kate Spade event. Now we are we're back at the hotel. Changing my outfit. Um, I wore those boots for quite a long time. I'm very proud of myself, but I don't want my feet to start hurting too bad. So um, I changed into my good old faithful Roberto Cavalli suit um, that I got in Milan, and I'm gonna wear that to the brunch for my agency. So I have to go to the Pandora store because I'm working with them this year, and we're gonna film like a come shopping with me for content for March. So. Maybe we'll go shopping this evening or something. Also, still haven't eaten today. I have a massive headache. So, do my makeup and I'll be back. Okay. Day two of Fashion Week. How are you feeling? Oh, Maya's here, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Can I introduce you? Hey. Maya just got here. Woohoo. Um, so, we just, I just told you we came back. The Andre Leon Talley thing. Phenomenal. I mean, History, fashion, I have sunglasses marks on my nose. It was amazing. It was actually a little emotional. Like if I would have been like just by myself, I probably would have cried. Cause it was just like all his stuff. It is all his stuff. I mean, you guys saw it, but it was, it was amazing. Um, and then Kate Spade, which was kind of ending when we got there. It was a very, it was a lot going on. But cute fashions, cute fashions. But a lot going on. Um, then we shot the outfit. So productive morning. It's only 12 something. Feels like a full day. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to the brunch, which is gonna be fun. All the girls will be there. It'll be a good time. I just need to fix my makeup. See you later. This is my outfit, you've seen the suit before, but full look. Oh, and a brand new black one back. Okay, let's go. Okay, I want to. Oh, let's get over here. Look at Maya's outfit. Look how cute she looks. <laughs>
Then I separated it. Feels good. So good. I mean, my feet just hurt. I've always liked these, but I just like that view feels amazing. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Sorry if I took long. Oh, God, you're fine. It's just like so far. This is stunning. Right? At first I thought it was a blue panda, and then I'm like, okay, Katie. I think that's fire. Thank you. Mm -hmm. How are you? How have you been? Good. Things have been good for these What is it? Turn around. 
can even do this with like combat boots or something just to make it like more casual. Yeah. I love this. It's cool. It's like boobs are out here like boots. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice cut. like nine we're gonna get um, ready and I just wanted I felt a little puffy so I have these little patches from Sephora on like when we go to the checkout Anywho. Um, we have a ph5 presentation I'm very excited about this brand I follow them on Instagram they have really cool stuff this is the fitting we went to when we got here um, Thursday so I have a really cute dress of course you just never have everything you need I didn't bring one of my leather jackets and I'm like it would have been perfect with the dress but I didn't know I was getting this dress so you, you can never be prepared um, but we are gonna go to that and then after we'll spend some time shooting and that's the day hopefully we can execute everything I also love how they um, set it up. So it was like watching a photo shoot, watching them on set. Very cool, very cute things. I think 2023 is going to be their year. They just need to get their clothes on the right side. See you soon.
just rested, ate dinner, and now I've changed. Um, going to Marissa Wilson fashion show and then daily front row after party if I still have the energy. Um, sorry, this is the only place I have good light right now. Um, Laquan Smith bodysuit. Um, I got this little YSL bag recently. I thought Papa White would be nice. This skirt, I showed it to you in the last video. Um, it's the YSL velvet skirt. I'll insert a picture or something. And yeah, and I did some really, um, there we go. Yeah, so lots of eyeliner, added lots of gold, and put some gold on, gold eyeshadow on my lips, and then some clear gloss and brow liner. Just something fun, so let's go. It's a vlog Hey, hey, queens. Hey, queens. Over here. This is some little. Hi, Good morning, queens. Still a little update. I'm getting ready for the day. It's Sunday. We're off today. Um, Sundays are typically less shows, but they're like big shows, so we haven't quite been invited to those kind of shows yet. <laughs> um, so we're off today, which is great. It's a nice little like break before basically the second half of New York Fashion Week continues because we have like three shows tomorrow and then we have two shows Tuesday and we leave Wednesday and I have a show in the morning and we leave in the evening. So. We're gonna go shopping today. I know we wanted to see lots of shopping. <laughs> that was something you put in the last video. So we're gonna go shopping today with Monica. I'm sure y'all you guys follow on by Monty. If you don't, she's here on YouTube. She makes amazing content and she is an OG blogger. Um, like she knows she knows her stuff. And she's on Instagram and she's everywhere. Um and Shanae, who is the I don't know what her title, founder of my agency. <laughs> and of course Josh is gonna come. Um, so we're gonna go have lunch at Burgos. We went there the other day, so I don't really need to shop there because I kind of already shopped there. But I wanted to have lunch there because Josh has never been. It's really delicious. So um, my essay made us a regulation. And then we'll probably go to like Saxon, just up and down Fifth Avenue because that's what we're close to. Oh, we just got a campaign um, for New York Fashion Week. So again, it's always amazing when we can make money while we're here since we spend money. <laughs> Um, so we are doing a campaign with Lemaire, which is amazing. Um, it's actually not until April, but they want a part of, they want some of New York Fashion Week in it. So they have like a little, um, suite where they're going to show me a presentation tomorrow. Um, and I'm going to create kind of like travel vlog style content, like the skincare stuff that I use on the go. It's a vibe, which is amazing because I use lots of Lemaire. Um, so again... I always want to work with the brands that I use. That is the goal. I'm sharing it anyway. I would love to get paid for it. <laughs> so let's get ready. We're just doing skincare today. Again, it's an off day. We're doing nothing but shopping and then we're going to watch the Super Bowl. So I'm just going to put on some brows and skincare. And that's it. So um, face wash. I really have only been using, um, actually have a little travel one. <laughs> Um, this, hold on, I have like it propped up because my has my tripod. Okay, I've been using, oh my God, okay. I've been using the Clinique uh, All About Clean Liquid Fish Soap, which I've used this for a long time, off and on, but it gets my face really clean. Um, and I worked with them like, I'm gonna say a year ago, and I've been using it ever since. I use this in Olay Hendrickson, just depends on if I need a really deep clean, if my skin is feeling dry, but recently I've just been using this um what else what is the first thing i need to do oh vitamin c this is like a new vitamin c i've been using this is by obaji i'll link everything below but it's um i got it from my esthetician who does my facials so it's professional c serum 15 percent. so i've been using this and i feel like my um skin looks a lot more even which was kind of what i was trying to work on um you know, just more even tone. Like I don't really have like dark spots, but I have areas of my face that are darker than the rest. Like so been liking that. And then 
not sure if I showed this, but um, Tatcha sent me a few things. And the two things that I absolutely love that I've already repurchased now is this little lip mask. Amazing. I keep one in my purse and one in my skincare little stuff. And they're um, this cream. I go back and forth between this cream and um, well, Lumiere has a new cream. So I just did a, a different campaign with them. And then they have a new cream that I also like. But I can't show it yet. It's coming out in March. And then the next thing I use is this hydrating infused emulsion. This is from Lumiere. It's very expensive. But I really, really like it because I have very dry skin. And it's like every winter I forget. So I really have had to like layer up the products. Like just using a cream or just using my sunscreen that's moisturized. Like it's just... It's not enough. I like this because it's like water based. So it's also not enough to only use this, but it feels so silky and like hydrating. Like you can see, you see that like, it just, it feels like I'm putting hydrating water on my face. I don't know how to explain it, but I really, really like that. Um, What else is new? I think the only other thing is this sunscreen that was recommended by somebody on TikTok. And it's free. Let's see. Yeah, there we go. That's what it looks like. Okay, back on me. Um, and I've been using this, I really like it. No white cast, very moisturizing. Like I can't really do sunscreens that are like that silicone kind of vibe. Like I need some moisture. So I really like this. Like it just, ooh, look at that. I always do the back of my neck too, and my ears, because I have short hair. And I think that is everything. The one other product I wanted to share, it's a night thing, but it just like changed my life. Because I'm wearing makeup so much, my skin is just getting really congested. And I even noticed like wearing masks when I travel, I've just been breaking out like here a lot. Um, so I saw, I found this also on TikTok. It's by La Roche Posay and it's called Epiclair. Again, I'll link it below. Um, I'll break it up with like morning stuff and night stuff. But it's a acne treatment with Adapalene Gel 0.1. Um, it's a topical retinoid. This, like my skin, I, let me, let me get in some good light. It is smooth, like, and it's it's really only like I only put this literally right here and on my forehead because that's also where I break out. Again, if like my makeup brushes need to be clean or my pillowcase needs to be clean or I'm wearing a mask or I didn't you know double cleanse well enough, this is where I get all the congestion. And even when we just flew here and I wore a mask when I got off the plane, like right here was a hot ass mess <laughs> and i put this on and every day it just gets better and better so i really like this i noticed a difference after like the first two days um and i've been using it for like a month now so i wanted to recommend that i think that's all with skincare so now we're done i'm just gonna put on a little brow and we'll get dressed i'm wearing the same thing i wore shopping yesterday because that's the only like casual stuff i bought besides like my airport outfit so yeah Let's, oh my God, I didn't put on eye cream, child. Um, this is Lumiere, the eye concentrate. Um, I also, of course, always talk about the um, Olay Hendrickson Banana Bright Eye Cream. That is my favorite. I'm actually out of it. Maya is going to Sephora today <laughs> to get me some. Um, so this is what, um, but this is typically the one I use at night, but I just have to use it during the day now too. And then I already showed you the moisturizer. Yes. Okay. Little update. We're here. We're at the restaurant. Um, we're waiting on Monica and Shanae. So. I'll let you know when we get to shopping. It's going back and forth. Monica has arrived. I'll show you her outfit when we get out. Yeah. But um, if you want to go there, you can go. I do. Yeah. Okay. So then we can do that. Um, so this is like a... <laughs> it's like a, a girlfriend.
morning queens it's monday it's 8 a.m we have um a campaign opportunity i talked about this already with lamare so that's where we're headed um i'll show you my look i'm not doing any makeup because it's too early um <laughs> and these glasses are saving me <clears throat> these will make you know these make me whoo, look at that we're done we're ready but also i want my makeup to be fresh because we have things all afternoon one three five something like that so i want to take my time and do a really good beat later uh, but yeah maya is headed over and um, we're gonna get to getting it's like a 40 minute car ride so we'll probably plan out the content in the car like what shots we want to get this is supposed to be like a fashion week <clears throat> vlog reel so we have to kind of like think through the concept in the car the show the um activist show was amazing 10 out of 10 you would have saw the footage i love everything i love the designer i'm so passionate about that brand i bet you're wondering how we got here <laughs> um so we're, we're changing out of the activist dress into the b-boot dress we rented an uber for two hours because it's at the same location so we didn't want to go back and change so that's what's happening i'll see you when i'm dressed bye <laughs> Okay, this is the second outfit of today. This is me with my Patra. Very excited. My good old faithful magnificent flower for my dress. And this little Chanel bag. That is the look. I love this. Stunning! <laughs> Um, a lovely show, beautiful gowns, gorgeous gowns. Like, that's what he does. It was really gorgeous. Um, now we just changed. We're headed to Bruce Glenn. It's a black designer. I'm very excited. Um, this is alone. This jacket. Um, it's actually very nice outside, so I'm just going to wear it, like, on my shoulders, kind of. 
Um, I got this Alexander McQueen top on, Attico jeans, and my favorite comfy Zara boots. And Big Ball take a clutch. Look, let's go. Okay. We're back in the hotel room just left the um bruce glenn show it was so cute i mean it was really good but it was cute because just the um you would have seen they opened the show with like um, a message to their mother it's two brothers i'm pretty sure they opened the show with like them talking about their favorite song their mom used to play and she passed away it was just really beautiful um and they had like little church ladies passing out candy while we waited for the show to start with like little fans it was lovely like I, it was a really good time it was just like so fun um hopefully i'll have a clip that i can insert here towards the end of the show when they did their walk like their final walk the actual brothers the designers they were like picking people up out of the crowd so they picked up the use of and they're like having them walk the runway with them as the show is ending and then of course once they pass by me the users pick me so it was really fun it was really fun so we're back at the hotel I just got a look from Brandon Maxwell um, and I just got invited to his show, which is tomorrow at 10 a.m. <laughs> so now I'm trying to figure out my outfit. This is, this is kind of it. It's basically like a sheer dress and a sweater on top. So I'm kind of like playing around with these um, chokers. This is two different chokers. Just trying to judge it up a bit. So that's all I'm doing. And then um, Josh just went to the store to get a battery for the flash. We just ordered room service. And I'm just going to try to straighten up. I need to go through the schedule tomorrow. We got a lot of things added to tomorrow and Wednesday. And I need to finish up some work. But it was a very productive, eventful day. Basically saw like a lot of my favorite designers. Loved all my outfits. It was a good time. Successful day. I see you in Queens. It is a Tuesday. It's Valentine's Day. Happy Valentine's Day. Uh, we have a show at 10 to 8.30. Going to see Brandy Maxwell. Very excited. I love this brand. And um, I'm very excited. I have a very, like, kind of, like, sleek, simple look today, which is fine. Like, it's an early show. It is what it is. I'm going to wear some big sunglasses. So I'm just going to do, like, a quick beat because I have, like, two night shows that I want to do dramatic eyes and all that stuff for. So, and then I have a meeting with Bobby Brown today. So I also don't want to show up, like, luckily... This show is 10 minutes away. I love that for us. Um, and then we have a fitting with Bachelor Mishka and the Bobby Brown lunch. That's really all during the day. The other two things I was going to go to, I don't, I don't have the time. They're like long things. Um, what else? <laughs> and we have some work to do. I'm waiting on Maya to call me right now. Because um, we had... I have two things that are due today, so I need to do some edits on. And I'm doing something for Victoria's Secret I need to film. I brought the stuff with me. Um, it's just like uh, corsets, like they're launching corsets and like how to style them with clothes. I'm like, oh, perfect. That's one of my favorite things. So, but I need to film it today, a reel at some point. That's the update. <clears throat> Too. So, are you flying out of DC? Yeah. 
All right, little update. Um, got back from lunch. It was really, really lovely. Obviously, I didn't vlog because I didn't want it to be weird. Um, and we were talking like personal, but then business. So, um, but just got back. Just shot the reel that I needed to do, and now we're gonna head to the fitting. So hopefully, I find something really good. The show is tomorrow, so I feel like anytime you're like getting alone this close to the day of, you're kind of getting like what's left, like what's been picked over. You know other people have done their <laughs> fittings already so cross our fingers hopefully we still find something good um and then we have two shows tonight i'm very excited about them. also i didn't even tell you but i'm gonna try to update my hair a little bit i want to do this kind of like wet look i have some um you know the foam i usually use but i also got some gel because i think that might hold it a bit better because i don't really have time to sit under the dryer for a long time i brought wrap strips but it's like if it goes horrible then i'm just not going. <laughs> Cross your fingers for that too. Okay, let's head to the thing. date found something that matched with Mishka it was like hectic in there so well tight in the room like I didn't there wasn't a mirror for me to show you but I got a jumpsuit so I think that'll be fun to style so we only had 30 minutes <laughs> to um get ready it's surprisingly tight today um we are headed to Veronica Beard I'm very excited um I'm wearing this uh YSL blazer I put this flower on it and then this little top is from Bershka I think I got it last fashion week. And then these pants I wore during Art Basel. They're from their brand Acnevis. Acnevis. Someone's going to tell me how to say that right. And then I'm wearing glasses because I didn't have time to do eye makeup and I want, you know, it to pop. I also put um, the red glossy lip, which I've never done. Kind of like it. And it's back. That's the look. And we're, uh, we'll come back. This starts at 6.30. Probably won't start until 7 because everything is like 20, 30 minutes behind probably over around 7 30 we get back here by 8 and then we have a show at 9 so yeah let's go Veronica Beard. Um, 
know why I look so dark, but um, and this is my outfit for tonight. Can't really see it. I'll pop it in a picture, hopefully. Um, this, I'll put the brand up on the screen also. Um, someone sent it to me, and it's a black brand. But it's basically a lace jumpsuit with a skirt on it, and I have a bralette underneath. I love this. I feel like it's so appropriate for this brand. And just for night shows, it's just a little more fun. I also, I like, kind of slicked my hair down a little bit. Did a little swoopy swoop. I'm wearing glasses because I didn't have time to do any more eye makeup. So we are, this is, this is the look, this is the vibe. getting ready I just put a little more gel on my hair um, so yeah uh, we just been packing this morning we just walked to Zara I didn't take you with me um, but I'll show you I'll pop up pictures of what I got like pictures from online I got some really cute stuff that I had looked at online wasn't sure about um, so yeah now we're back we have a show at 3 it's 1 so we just ordered lunch and I'm gonna get ready um, we also have to shoot a campaign before we go to that show um with pandora they wanted like a street style kind of new york fashion week reel so we're gonna shoot that outside the show so we need to leave a little early and that's the update i'll get ready i'll be back to show you my outfit we're going to uh bachelor mishka so i have like a that's what i got yesterday a really pretty jumpsuit it's velvet it's very pretty um so i think the pandora diamonds will work well so that's the update i'll see you in a little bit Oh, oh. 